Hello everybody, welcome to another miniature unboxing video and this is the one of the expansion sets for the new 40 Warlock Wizard tiles and this is the Dungeon Dressings set and on the back of the box it pretty much has everything that comes with you know with this uh, set and you get a bunch of stuff which is stuff that'll work with you know both the basic set for the dungeon and the towns and inns which you can watch those videos that I have on my channel as well so uh, let's go and open this thing up they uh, seal these up quite well <laughs> all right so let's see what we got here I'm just gonna throw this to the side I'm not gonna keep this box on. so it looks like we got a little book here that has a uh, something in it let's see what we got in this book but i've also got some other tiles set up i've kind of been working on this tavern throughout a couple different videos and i'm kind of liking the way it's turning out and i actually added durnan from the awning portal all of you dnd fans out there know who durnan is and i've added him so let's see this is basically uh just how to yeah <laughs> yeah hopefully this is top secret information on how to use these clips because these warlock tile clips are just absolutely atrocious they're ridiculous to use uh, but anyway you get a little book uh let's kind of let's kind of uh i kind of want to show you guys what comes with this uh you get barrels so there's going to be four of these barrels and everything's locked in pretty good but I'm just putting these in in storage containers, so I'm not keeping them in there. So you can kind of put your your barrels around there. Around. Let's see. Here's what the barrels look like. They actually, look pretty good. Look really good. Ooh, empty barrel. Up or around or stack them on one another but you get four barrels and you get three of these large wooden crates which these crates are wow these are pretty nice too kind of put those around if you want to put those in a corner or stack them up whatever you want to do with them uh there are a oh wow look at this there's a couple of five foot traps so here's a here's a pit with spikes as you can see so if you're doing dungeons, you can just pop that down when your player fails his perception check and you can say, okay, Billy Bob, you are now on this trap and put your miniature on there and you know, oh, I didn't see it and uh, guy failed my perception check. And so yeah, you get a couple of these uh, pit traps. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I eat these accessory packs up, man. Uh, they're about, about 30 bucks a piece. And uh, the regular sets are, you know, right, right around 70, 80 bucks. So, yeah. And then you got some piles of treasure. So look at that. Well, some of this stuff is kind of hard to, to get out. Tape sticking to my finger. Just what I want. Tape everywhere. So there's a pile of treasure. Look at that. Got some bling. I like that you can put that in a put that on the dungeon or put that wherever there's a there's a couple of chest really nicely detailed chest you can put those in in the room as well there's two of those there's a uh what else? there's a, a big boulder wow look at that you can actually throw this at somebody throw this at one of your players when they piss you off <laughs> But you can put that you can put that rock. It's a two by two, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a uh, this looks like a sarcophagus. Let me get this out of here. Well, I should have took these out before I started, huh? But that looks like a sarcophagus. You can you know you put that. That's a uh, one by two. There's a a nice a nice throne, detailed throne. I don't have auto zoom on, so because it when I don't have it on, it messes up all the time. Everything is in 27 millimeter. I mean, everything works good. Here's a uh, maybe this could be a statue, maybe a, a statue, but it has a like a fighter type of figurine. You can put that as a statue. I don't see why. Not. 
Here's a uh, pile of rubble. Nice little pile of rubble. Be cool to get a couple of those instead of just one. Put that in a dungeon, and uh, you got uh, a couple of stools. It looks like here is a. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, don't don't drop this and forget about it, and then step on it at two o'clock in the morning when you're going to the bathroom. Yeah, this this is nice. This is like a barricade, like a blockade. So that is cool. Yeah, don't drop that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be in a good mood. So, oh, well, look at this. It's got a couple of, uh, it's got a bed. Maybe in our, maybe in our inn here. Maybe this is a, maybe that's a, maybe this is a bed. Maybe this is a place to lay your head for the night. In the gushing eyeball tavern. So you can put a bed there. Here's a couple of, uh, a couple of night stands. Put a nightstand here and maybe a Another one. You guys are seeing my inner Martha Stewart come out, aren't you? Anybody got any stock tips? <laughs> Thanks, Mark. There we go. Put we could put these other two two crates in here. This stuff has got to be easier to get out of here. Maybe this could be a cheap cheap room to rent because it's got a lot of other stuff that's uh, stored in here. There's quite a few pieces in this accessory set. A couple of extra barrels. I mean, you can put the barrels on top of the decorate it. Maybe this could be the maybe the tavern owner sleeps in here. You never know. Here's a. Uh, I don't know what this is, but this this looks like something that's. Oh my goodness, these are all kinds of little disc, different colored disc. Make oh oh here we go. I'm gonna start losing this stuff. I'm not sure what they, these are for. Oh these are little. Oh wow, these are little markers. They look like. Little green, little green markers, little brown markers, little red markers. I mean, you could use these to, I mean, you could use these as plates, maybe turn them over and play it in, but it looks like they're markers. So we'll put those to the side. But it looks like you get about 10 or 12 of those. Uh, so what else do we got? I got another marker here, but yeah, I'd put those in a bag. We got a couple of tables so we can we can actually dress up our in our <laughs> that was my hillbilly accent. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? My my in. So here we go. There's a couple more tables we can kind of put around. We got some we got another barrel, another keg. Wow, look at that big old keg. That's for the buffet. You can put that in the in the corner. When they have the all you can drink. Uh, here's a couple of chairs. Man, this stuff really decorates up nice. I'd love to see the bar fight when everything just starts getting thrown, <laughs> thrown around and destroyed. Oh my goodness! Isn't that awesome? This is so cool, man. Your players, your players will really appreciate stuff like this. I know, I know this stuff can add up from a cost standpoint, but I mean, come on, man. It's not like you and your players wouldn't enjoy this. It's like a trip to trip to the Chinese buffet for this. Skip the trip to the buffet and buy you some miniatures. <laughs> Who cares if you got to eat? Here's a couple of tables too. So uh, that's everything in this set. So I'm gonna throw this to the side. Get rid of all of this stuff. Kind of put this to the side. And uh, yeah, look at that. Got a couple of tables. I'll put these over here. Just oh, actually a table and a uh, bench that's pretty cool you could actually put that in a tavern but see i got all this and then you know you can put other patrons around and then your murder hoboing party <laughs> can walk right in bust open the door and say get me an ale bartender <laughs> So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the accessory pack one. I believe it was accessory pack. No, it's called Dungeon Dressings. And uh, 
I yeah, dungeon dressings. Here's the little booklet that came with it. Came with quite a bit of stuff. Probably, I'd say at least probably 30, 40 pieces. Stuff that you can use for a dungeon. Stuff that you can use for a tavern or a dungeon. Yeah, really nice. So nice additions to my tavern. That's for sure. Man, my players would love to see that tavern. Especially you can add more, you know, you can add more patrons. You know, I had a bar, guy over here at the bar and a guy over here at the table. And uh, you just have fun with it. So uh, leave me a comment down below. Do you guys have the Dungeon Dressings expansion pack? And what do you guys think of it? What do you think about my little tavern that I'm building? So leave a comment. I want to uh, hear what you have to say. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you for the next miniature unboxing video. Bye, everybody.